Let's check here. Oh, are you done with this? Not yet, right? Mm. No, we're not okay. yet. Yeah, we're not yet done with this. Sorry, teacher. Ed. Okay, so we have here a listening test. What is it that I ah supposed to be? You are to put this. You listen to one of us. Okay, so we have here seven questions. Okay, so we're not done with this. I remember, right? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. So we have here, you listen carefully, Kyo. By the way, how many scores do you have right now? I am very excited to know when will be your birthday. I will try my best to send something for you on your birthday. 2,132. Okay, 2,000. Okay, where is it, teacher? 2,000. 132. 2,132 teachers. So we are here in Pet 5. Mm -hmm. Pet 5. Test 3. Listening, okay? Here. So you listen carefully as we have this test 5. Okay, you listen carefully, okay? okay? Please listen carefully. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. 1. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? And now for the weather. As we go through today, the temperature will slowly rise and the snow we've had for the last few days will disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some rain. But by the end of the week, some sunny weather is likely. Now listen again. And now for the weather. As we go through today, the temperature will slowly rise and the snow we've had for the last few days will disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some rain. But by the end of the week, some sunny weather is likely. Two. What will they buy at the supermarket? Look, Kate, there are some of those biscuits you like. Oh, yes. Mm. They're a bit expensive, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, we've got guests coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake and I've bought lots of ice cream for the children. Well... I suppose the biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Let's see. Oh, good. I've got enough money in my purse. Now listen again. Look, Kate, there are some of those biscuits you like. Oh, yes. Mm. They're a bit expensive, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, we've got guests coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake and I've bought lots of ice cream for the children. Well, I suppose the biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Let's see. Oh, good. I've got enough money in my purse. Three. Which T-shirt does the woman buy? 
I'd like to buy a white T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the white ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the darker colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? It must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, okay, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Now listen again. I'd like to buy a white T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the white ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the darker colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? It must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, okay, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Four. What will the girl take with her on holiday? Have you packed for your holiday? No. I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken. So I need something that's better quality this time. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a big sports bag. It's light and not expensive, so it doesn't matter if it gets torn. Yes, I thought about one of those. But you need something stronger when it's going on a plane. I'll get something I can put on my back. He can carry more that way. Now listen again. Have you packed for your holiday? No. I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken. So I need something that's better quality this time. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a big sports bag. It's light and not expensive, so it doesn't matter if it gets torn. Yes, I thought about one of those. But you need something stronger when it's going on a plane. I'll get something I can put on my back. You can carry more that way. Five. Which exercise is the teacher describing? OK, everybody. This next exercise is a bit difficult, but it's really good for your legs. All you do is put your back against the wall. Place your feet about half a metre away from the wall. Move your back down the wall so your knees are bent at 90 degrees. Now, put your hands up straight in front of you. Right. Make sure your head is against the wall. Now, see how long you can stay like that. If you do two minutes, you're doing well. Now listen again. OK, everybody. This next exercise is a bit difficult, but it's really good for your legs. All you do is put your back against the wall. Place your feet about half a metre away from the wall. Move your back down the wall so your knees are bent at 90 degrees. Now, put your hands out straight in front of you. Right. Make sure your head is against the wall. Now, see how long you can stay like that. If you do two minutes, you're doing well. Six. What time will the train to London leave? The train arriving at platform 6 is the 4.45 from London. The train due to arrive at platform 4 in approximately 5 minutes is the delayed 4.30 train to London. This train will now depart at 4.50 and travel non-stop. We apologise to passengers for the delay. Refreshments will not be available on this train. Now listen again. The train arriving at platform 6 is the 4.45 from London. The train due to arrive at platform 4 in approximately 5 minutes is the delayed 4.30 train to London. This train will now depart at 4.50 and travel non-stop. 
we apologize to passengers for the delay. Refreshments will not be available on this train. Seven. Which sport will the boy do soon at the center? Have you been to the new water sports center yet? Oh yes, it's brilliant. There are two indoor pools, one for diving and one for swimming, and you can also have sailing lessons on the lake. That's what I'm doing there next weekend. Actually, I, I was hoping to take windsurfing lessons, but the leaflet says they're not starting those until next year. Now listen again. Have you been to the new water sports center yet? Oh yes, it's brilliant. There are two indoor pools, one for diving and one for swimming, and you can also have sailing lessons on the lake. That's what I'm doing there next weekend. Actually, I, I was hoping to take windsurfing lessons, but the leaflet says they're not starting those until next year. Okay. So what are your that is the end of then? part one. Okay, let's see, Cleo, if your answer is correct. Number one, what is the weather forecast for tomorrow? Let's see, A, B, or C. Very good. Yes. What will we buy at the supermarket? Very good. Number three, which T-shirt does the woman buy? Very good. Four, what will the girl take with her on holiday? Letter, very good. And number five, number five, let's see this. Which exercises is the teacher describing? It's set up, sit up. What time will the train to London leave? 40, 4.45 or 4.50? The answer is letter and number seven, which sport will the boy do soon at the center? Letter C. Okay, very good. It's letter C. You've got seven points, Kayo. Please take note. Are you there? Okay, so we have here some of the things we have here the best things okay best 15 netflix in spanish okay are you familiar with netflix keo no okay are you familiar netflix it's a uh, it's an international movie in where you can read i mean you can watch anything you want to watch in netflix it's a very nice one okay so if you're here, we'll have to talk in 8 to 13. You will hear an interview with a woman called Rachel, who is talking about the shows she puts on for children. Okay, you will say A, B, or C. You'll have to choose the correct answer. Okay, listen. Now turn to part two, questions 8 to 13. You will hear an interview with a woman called Rachel who is talking about the shows she puts on for children. For each question, you tick in the correct box. Bus. You okay. now have 45 seconds to look at the questions okay. for part two. Okay. Okay. 
okay? Okay. Listen here. Did you hear farewell? Did you hear it? Okay. Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. You will hear an interview with a woman called Rachel, who is talking about the shows she puts on for children. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have forty-five seconds to look at the questions for part two. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Rachel, tell us how your shows for children started. You studied art at college, didn't you? That's right. But I gave up my career as an artist when my twin daughters were born. Painting took up too much time when I was looking after them. I thought about teaching art classes part time, but instead I started making dolls for my daughters. I love acting, so I often invented little plays for the dolls, doing the voices myself. And when did you start doing shows for other people? When our daughters were five, my husband suggested using the dolls to entertain the children at their birthday party. I wrote a little show, and he built a dolls theatre. My daughters and their friends loved it. As a result, other parents asked me to come and do the show at their children's parties. That's how it all began. <laughs> Must be a lot of work for you. Yes, I love making the dolls, but I decided that I needed someone to help me with the shows. Luckily, my neighbour Lena was keen to perform with me. Her husband records the music to go with the shows. It would be impossible to do everything on my own. Have you ever had any problems? Only once. I did a show for a group of three-year-olds, and I'd written a story about a lion. Unfortunately, the children were really afraid of the lion and started crying. I was worried the parents might complain, but luckily they were all able to laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> and what did you learn from that? The experience taught me that I had to find out beforehand just what children enjoy. Like me, Lena has two daughters, so whenever we've invented a new story, we show it to our four girls first. They always tell us exactly what they think of it. And sometimes I take new dolls to the local primary school to check that children like them. And the shows continue to be successful. They do. I have a range of different shows for five to nine-year-olds. In fact, the shows have become so successful I could do one every day, but I don't want to do that. The reason the shows have become popular, I think, is because I love every minute of every show, and so other people love them too. I certainly didn't realise when I organised that birthday party for my daughters all those years ago that it would change my life so much. Now listen again, Rachel. Tell us how your shows for children started. You studied art at college, didn't you? That's right. But I gave up my career as an artist when my twin daughters were born. Painting took up too much time when I was looking after them. I thought about teaching art classes part time, but instead I started making dolls for my daughters. I love acting, so I often invented little plays for the dolls, doing the voices myself. And when did you start doing shows for other people? When our daughters were five, my husband suggested using the dolls to entertain the children at their birthday party. I wrote a little show, and he built a dolls theatre. My daughters and their friends loved it. As a result, other parents asked me to come and do the show at their children's parties. That's how it all began. <laughs> Must be a lot of work for you. Yes, I love making the dolls, but I decided that I needed someone to help me with the shows. Luckily, my neighbour Lena was keen to perform with me. 
Her husband records the music to go with the shows. It would be impossible to do everything on my own. Have you ever had any problems? Only once. I did a show for a group of three-year-olds, and I'd written a story about a lion. Unfortunately, the children were really afraid of the lion and started crying. I was worried the parents might complain, but luckily they were all able to laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, and what did you learn from that? The experience taught me that I had to find out beforehand just what children enjoy. Like me, Lena has two daughters, so whenever we've invented a new story, we show it to our four girls first. They always tell us exactly what they think of it. And sometimes I take new dolls to the local primary school to check that children like them. And the shows continue to be successful? They do. I have a range of different shows for five to nine-year-olds. In fact, the shows have become so successful I could do one every day, but I don't want to do that. The reason the shows have become popular, I think, is because I love every minute of every show, and so other people love them too. I certainly didn't realise when I organised that birthday party for my daughters all those years ago that it would change my life so much. That is the end of part two. Okay, Kayo. So we have here, Kayo, some of the words. First, we have here... Okay, actually. So we have here number eight. Before her children were born, Rachel worked as what? He is a, an art teacher, a painter, or an actor. What do you think? Your answer is a painter. Let's see. Very good. Rachel is a painter, a very good painter. Next, who first thought of doing a show at a party? Again, who first thought of doing a show at a party? Rachel husband. Racial children or racial parent? What do you think is your answer here? Number nine, Kyo. Letter? What do you think is your answer? Letter? I think is What? I Wait. think Rachel. Wait, your children. Children. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, it's Rachel's husband. It's okay. Next, Rachel's neighbor Lena. Lena helps by performing in the shows. And when Rachel's did a play about lion, the children laughed too much. The children were frightened. Or the children's yes. parents complained. What? Letter B. They are frightened because Rachel is trying to play about lion. So, of course, it's very scary. It's very scary to play as a lion. Number 12. How do Rachel's daughter help her? The show. Okay.
have the correct answer. So number 12, how do Rachel's daughter help her? How? I think Letter Rachel A. did it to the school friends. Okay, what's the answer? Yeah, I give their opinions on her new place. Okay, 13. Rachel think her shoes are successful because why to you boy? Because because they are sustainable of all ages. ages. Okay, she enjoys knowing them so much. Okay, you missed to listen this carefully, I guess. It's okay, you've got three points. Please put three points. Okay, three points, please. Get a paper down. Yeah, put there. Now in 14 to 19, you will hear a telephone message about a business studies course. And for each question, okay, you will hear, for each question scale, you will hear a telephone message about business studies course. For each questions, you will have to fill in the missing information. Okay, go. Please listen this carefully, okay? Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear a telephone message about a business studies course. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part three. Now we're ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos. So you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitor's car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the Science and Technology Centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the Business Studies Department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh, no, actually, there's one place on the Spanish course, too. We usually offer French and Japanese as well, but there aren't enough students for those classes this summer. So, I think that's all, but if you need to ask any further questions, please call Sonia Ashley. Um, that's spelt A S H. L-E-I-G-H. She's the secretary in the business studies department and she'll be happy to help. Thank you for your inquiry. Okay, did you now listen, listen again. as well? Okay, listen it carefully Hello, again. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos. So you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop, if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. 
I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitors' car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the science and technology centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the business studies department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh no, actually, there's one place on the Spanish course too. We usually offer French and Japanese as well, but there aren't enough students for those classes this summer. So I think that's all. But if you need to ask any further questions, please call Sonia Ashley.、Um, that's spelt A S H L E I G H. She's the secretary in the business studies department, and she'll be happy to help. Thank you for your inquiry. That is the end of part three. Okay. Did you hear it all, Kyo? Where's the answer for fifteen and sixteen? Okay, you want to listen it one more, one more. Can, Please listen carefully. I can hear, I can hear it, but I can't spell it. Okay, so right again. Okay, one more. Now turn to part three, questions fourteen to nineteen. Answer sixteen. You will hear a telephone message about a business studies course. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have twenty seconds to look at part three. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos, so you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitors' car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the science and technology centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the business studies department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh, okay. So, what did you hear for fifteen, Kyo? Can you just tell me? Do not try to to write. I hear mobile phone on sixteen. Mobile phone. Okay. How about number sixteen? Number sixteen, mobile phone, and fifteen. What did you hear? Tell me. Just tell me. Do、oh. not. Don't write. Ah,、uh, mobile phone. Okay. The the spelling is、uh, lacking letter E. Okay, it's okay. Now here, so course of start date is twelve of June and fifteen. This is what you hear about video film, the video or the film. Okay, sixteen. What's the sixteen? It's mobile phone. Okay, very good. Only the spelling, but it's okay. Okay, next. The visitors' car park is next to the main entrance. Look at the spelling. Please look at the spelling of the word entrance. Okay. Please look at the spelling of the word entrance. Okay. Next, eighteen, Spanish and Italian. Okay, very good. Spanish and Italian. 
Next, number 19. Ashley. Very good. The spelling of Ashley is exactly correct. Very good, Kayo. Okay. So you've got five points here. Please try to put five points. Okay. Okay, next one here. So we have here in questions 20 to 25. Look at six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a student called Peter and his father about their plans for the summer. Okay, you will say A, yes, and B for no. Now turn to part four, questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a student called Peter and his father about their plans for the summer. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part four. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hi, Peter. I wanted to ask you something. Do you know when your summer holidays start? It's the middle of June. Um, about the 13th, I think. Why? Well, you know when Mum goes on her painting course in France, uh, the week of the 16th? I've decided to go to Scotland. Yeah? A friend of mine called Jim has asked if I want to go with him and spend a week camping there. We'll do lots of hill walking and climbing. Sounds great. Go for it, Dad. I suppose you want me to stay and look after the house, don't you? Well, actually, I was wondering if you wanted to come with me. Jim has got a son your age, and he's coming too. I thought you might enjoy going off and doing a few things together. And it would be good to have a proper break before you start your summer job. Oh, I see. That's a great idea, Dad. I'd love to come but I really don't have the money for a holiday. Oh, well, it won't cost much. I'll drive us up to Scotland. The campsite belongs to a friend of Jim, so that won't cost anything. And, of course, Jim and I will pay for food and drink and things like that. In that case, I'd love to come. <laughs> have you ever met Jim's son? Oh, yes, yeah, several times, when he was a bit younger. What's he like? He's very similar to Jim. Easy to get on with, enjoy sport and good food. I'm sure you'll find plenty to talk about. Perhaps we could all get together sometime soon. You know, have a chat and plan a few things. Mm, we could try, but it might be difficult. Jim's job takes him all over the world. But let's ask. Shall I phone him tonight? Good idea. Catch you later, Dad. OK, then. OK, let's see if you... Now listen heard. again. Oh, one more, one more. Listen carefully. Hi, Peter. I wanted to ask you something. Do you know when your summer holidays start? It's the middle of June, um, about the 13th, I think. Why? Well, you know when Mum goes on her painting course in France, uh, the week of the 16th? I've decided to go to Scotland. Yeah? A friend of mine called Jim has asked if I want to go with him and spend a week camping there. We'll do lots of hill walking and climbing. Sounds great. Go for it, Dad. I suppose you want me to stay and look after the house, don't you? Well, actually, I was wondering if you wanted to come with me. Jim has got a son your age, and he's coming too. I thought you might enjoy going off and doing a few things together. And it would be good to have a proper break before you start your summer job. Oh, I see. That's a great idea, Dad. I'd love to come, but I really don't have the money for a holiday. Oh, well, it won't cost much. I'll drive us up to Scotland. 
The campsite belongs to a friend of Jim, so that won't cost anything. And of course, Jim and I will pay for food and drink and things like that. In that case, I'd love to come. <laughs> Have you ever met Jim's son? Oh, yes,、yeah, several times, when he was a bit younger. What's he like? He's very similar to Jim. Easy to get on with, enjoy sport and good food. I'm sure you'll find plenty to talk about. Perhaps we could all get together sometime soon, you know, have a chat and plan a few things.、Mm, we could try, but it might be difficult. Jim's job takes him all over the world. But let's ask. Shall I phone him tonight? Good idea. Catch you later, Dad. Okay, then. Okay. So let's see your answer, Kale. That is the end of part four. For number 20, Patrick's mother is planning to go to Scotland. Yes or no? It is? No. It's the father. You now have six minutes to check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet. Okay. It is the father who is planning to go to the Scotland, not the mother. That is the end of the test. Peter's father hopes to have an active holiday. Yes, he wants to have an active holiday. And number twenty-two, Peter's father thinks Peter should have a holiday before starting to work. Okay, twenty-two, very good. And twenty-three, Peter's father will pay for everything at the campsite. Patrick's father will pay for everything at the campsite. No, okay, very good. Twenty-four. Patrick has met Jim's son more than once. Again, Patrick has met Jim's son more than once. No, very good. And twenty-five. Patrick suggests everyone could meet before the trip to Scotland. Very good! Yay! Five, six points, Kyo. You put there six points. Okay, you put there six points. Okay, how much score do you have? Okay, your scores is scores. Two thousand. I would like to score. Two thousand one hundred fifty-three. Two thousand one hundred fifty-three. Very good, Kyo. Oh my God, so many. So, do you have question for teacher? You have question.、Um, do you have question?、Uh, no. Okay. So, if you don't have question, teacher and will say goodbye for now, Kyo. See you. Goodbye, teacher. Okay. Oh.